Shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick. What's good, gang? Welcome back to another show with August with the Shade. Now, let's go ahead and get into some tea. Now, first off, we're going to be talking about Sexy Red, Cardi B, and Megan Thee Stallion. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first off, I want to start off with Sexy Red. Now, everybody loves Sexy Red. First off, I've never looked at Sexy Red as one of the girls that did any of the hard, you know what I'm saying? Little candies, anything like that. I never looked at her as a girl that would get on the internet and, you know, play with the book sugar on a live stream. Now, everybody knows that her, um, Cotinet goes live with a lot of celebrities. They do it for promo. They do it for a lot of reasons. But Sexy Red went and made an amazing entrance okay she looked good you know she even had a little slip and all of that but let's just say a lot of the people did not really pay attention to her having fun with Casanet because all of the things that happened with the magic trick and also people are finding that sexy red was in the corner quote unquote I, I think she was rolling wood, but everybody else said she was playing with the book of sugar. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's look at the video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, from my observation, it looks like she is rolling the wood. I mean, all of my girls that like to roll the wood, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how this goes. You know you have to use a lot of saliva. You know that it has to go in your mouth a couple of times. So, therefore, I do not believe that she was playing with that stuff. Now, I do know that, you know, she popped a little Teslas and stuff like that. But I don't think that she goes that far with the sugar candy. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that you guys should be putting this off on a mother like this or a, a celebrity that has not even probably touched that type of, you know what I'm saying, D word. You know, I can't say the word on here. But, you know, I don't think that she ever does stuff like that. So, I think that you guys should really really scale back on trying to label people as something that you you know what i'm saying that you, you really don't know what she does you feel me like we know that she smokes and all of that but that's it like don't try to make it bigger than what it is just because there was something that happened on the stream and you guys are trying to take the attention off of kai and put it on sexy red sexy red had nothing to do with what happened that is kai's in house and whatever whatever okay so i don't believe that sexy red is on the book of sugar so you guys need to lay off of it okay let's get on to megan the stallion okay so y'all know megan the stallion whenever everybody else is getting attention whenever everybody else is talking about an album when Whenever everybody else is on spaces, whenever everybody else is doing anything that does not involve Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion always tries to come out and drop new music. Now, Megan Thee Stallion is supposed to be dropping a new song with Flo Millie. Everybody knows that Flo Millie is pregnant, you know what I'm saying? And we know that Megan Thee Stallion loves to use the girls whenever, she's, whenever they're pregnant because we don't think that she can do it herself. But, you know... She always uses the girls for some type of attention. So, of course, Flo Millie might be pregnant in the video. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the new songs that she's going to be dropping. Girl, didn't you just drop a whole album? Like, why are you even be, why you do you even be trying to think of dropping new stuff? Nobody even asked for the video because the album didn't even do well like that. You know what I'm saying? So, why are you dropping a video? Like I said before, Rock Nation has a plan. Not only are they, you know, planning to bring out Kendrick Lamar and do all of the stuff that they're doing with him, they're also trying their best to keep Megan Thee Stallion in the spotlight because if Megan Thee Stallion is not in the spotlight, then Megan Thee Stallion or Rock Nation makes, they don't make any money. Y'all know how that goes. So, that's why Megan Thee Stallion is always trying to come out when the girls are coming out because, yeah, she likes the competition and she always loses. But let's just see what Megan going to do this time because, you know, Megan, y'all, listen, I've never seen a girl that really think that they like an A-list celebrity. Like, in my, I, in, in Megan's mind, I feel like Megan Thee Stallion feels like she's bigger than Nicki Minaj. I feel like she even thinks that she's bigger than Cardi B, which she may be because she does more than Cardi B right now. But you are not bigger than Nicki Minaj. You do not have the brand deals. You do not do any Because if that was the case, they would have had you on TikTok or any of these infomercials literally selling Nike, Coach, all of the things that you have Brandon Bass all the times that you've been famous because they've been trying to throw this money at you because that's the only way that you really, really make money, Megan. Yeah, I thought so. So let's just see what Megan does with her clout this time, okay? Let's get on to our next topic. Now, our next topic is Cardi B. Now, y'all know Cardi B cannot keep Nicki Minaj off of her brain. I swear that Cardi B lives in Nicki Minaj's closet. Whenever Nicki's doing something, here comes Cardi. Here comes Megan. Here come all the girls. It's like y'all all got a sleeping bag in Nicki's closet. Nicki don't be worried about y'all. If Nicki go live and she look good, you're going to, you can bet your last dollar that Cardi B gonna try to pop out with some type of outfit, some type of new hair, or if she feels like Nicki Minaj is getting more attention to her, she's gonna pop out on the spaces late night on a little C rant, okay? And everybody knows what the C rant, okay, is. We gonna spell it right here because you know exactly what it is. Because that's what y'all say about Nicki Minaj whenever she speaks her mind. But if a girl gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning and she's on the internet with her fans, literally talking about things that nobody asked about, then yeah, to me, it's a rant. Let's hear Cardi B. That's why I hate these fucking motherfuckers. Like, that's why I hate these fucking uh 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 glitter fairies. What the fuck are you talking about? I thought Cardi's a girl, girl. She's mad that even Kyrie's are flourishing more than her. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did I did I talk about any any bitch in here? No. Only shit I said is bitches that was playing with me when I was fucking pregnant, which was clear. Other than that, what the fuck are you talking about? How many times I gotta fucking tell you that I don't give a fuck about what nobody else and what anybody is doing. I 
I hate y'all. Like it's like it's like everything y'all be trying to make it a something. This is why people feel say don't even be talk, don't even talk anymore. This it's gonna get to the point that no celebrity is gonna talk to y'all. It's gonna fuck with y'all. It's gonna let y'all know. I give you, I give it two years when your favorite celebs are gonna stop going on social media, on Instagram, or live. I don't know if y'all noticed, people are more and more backing down off Twitter because y'all make everything a fucking issue. And then y'all gonna start saying like, oh, because y'all just y'all just be instigating. Y'all like fucking roaches. Like y'all just fucking, it just just fucking, and y'all just don't fucking stop. The fuck are you talking about? I can't even have a fucking conversation with my fucking fans without y'all motherfucker. It's time to make some shit up. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? And why the fuck was you on my live, bitch? Why are you on my fucking spaces? Why the fuck is you here? Fucking glitter bottoms. Making everything about <laughs> everything about anything. God damn. Y'all will really fucking take a word and twist it the fuck up. Go twist your fucking go twist your fucking rib. Uh your your wrist till it fucking burns. Anybody ever twist your rib your your wrist before? Go twist that. Go twist so I just told y'all before, that's what Cardi does. This is this is her thing. She loves to get on the internet and, 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 and literally try to taunt people about her album. Girl, let me tell you something. When I tell you, no, don't nobody care about the album that's coming out, only but your fans. Only but the fans and the critics because they're ready to let you know how lame you are. You know what I'm saying? They're ready to let you know how, how, how whack the music is because before it was smoking mirrors and now that the mirrors are clear, everybody ain't trying, to, everybody gonna be seeing what's really going on. So if you have just any bit of slight pronou- uh, pronunciation problems or pronunciations, anything on your album, if you your tongue is too heavy like it is all the time on these songs, girl, they gonna call you out and you know that, okay? And Cardi B is scared to drop her music because of the critics, okay? So y'all just p- be prepared for another C rant from Cardi B because I think that she own that stuff, okay? Because it ain't no way that you waking up in the middle of the night talking about stuff that don't nobody else. Didn't nobody ask you about, okay? You already done helped uh, Kamala lose the presidency. What else are you going to help her lose? I mean, literally. But listen, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure that you leave your comments down below. How do you feel about Cardi B literally coming out on these C-Rants? Literally because she's jealous of Nicki Minaj. Let's just keep it a bean, okay? Megan Thee Stallion and her cloud chasing because she's not getting attention. And let's talk about Sexy Red on Constant Stream. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm out.